Hi, I'm Robin Bensley. Welcome to Chow Time, and welcome to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Now, on the menu uh, tonight... Excuse me, what are you doing? Who are you? Please leave. God, can we start over? You ready? Go ahead. Okay. Hi, I'm Robin Bensley. Welcome to Chow Time, and welcome to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. On the menu today is a beautiful seafood dish with a very local touch to it. And here to help me is my cousin Janice. Come over here. My cousin Janice. You don't mind if I borrow your kitchen, do you? Mm, maybe. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> secret ingredient is huckleberries because here in Coeur d'Alene, well I've had a huckleberry shake and I've seen huckleberry ice cream mm -hmm. and there's huckleberry pie, anything you can make with fruit you can make of huckleberries. Yeah and it's it's very good. Uh, it's it's kind of tart. It's a little bit tart. It's got a little bit of a blueberry flavor mm -hmm. to it but it's I like it better. It's delicious. Yeah and um, so this is, this is like our cool ingredient. If you're having a little trouble finding huckleberry jam at your local market, oh, no, um, no, no, you no, can... No, no, you don't want to use blueberries. No, 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 no. No, huckleberries are the state fruit of Idaho. It's pretty, you know, pretty important that you really stick with the state fruit of Idaho. And huckleberries, of course, were made famous by Mark Twain with Huckleberry Finn. And who can forget Huckleberry Hound? It's huckleberry time, it's a very Excuse time. Me. So come on, gather Excuse around. Me. Go back to it's, the street. Yeah. Go back to the street. Where are but it's Huckleberry going? Hound! God, what a weird guy. Does he hang around this area a lot? I don't even know who he is. Oh my gosh. I think I got rid of him. <laughs> finally. Yeah. Alright, let's let's get cooking here. First and most important ingredient is this huckleberry jam. So in a small saucepan, I'm gonna put about cups worth of this. Maybe a touch more. And then um, to make it saucy, we want to add some white wine. So that's about well, half a cup, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, I can just pour that in there. We need a little uh, vinegar in here because we want to give it a little sharpness. So I'm just going to do a couple tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Mm. There's one. It smells good. There's two. And then a little lemon juice. you got to have lemon juice, right? So maybe a, a tablespoon or two of lemon juice. Beautiful. Mm. The color. Yeah. So we've got the we've got the sweet, we've got the sour, we've got the tart. Mm -hmm. So I need I need a little cayenne pepper. You don't need much, just to give it a little bit of heat. <laughs> wow. You like I like it. Okay, yeah. good. So Beautiful. it's about a half a teaspoon right there. Mm-hmm. Now we'll take this over to the stove and we'll put it on a medium heat. If you do that. Yeah, so we want to uh, just kind of stir it up, let it get rolling a little bit so the flavors can marry. That's what they always mm -hmm. say. And then once this gets rolling, boy, that jam melted right away. Uh, we're going to let this uh, simmer for a little bit to reduce it okay. so it can thicken a little bit. And then there's a couple of last minute ingredients that are very important. So the idea is you don't want it to reduce too much because you don't want it to be really thick. You want it to be kind of a light sauce, but all those flavors reduce. Oh, it smells beautiful. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. 
I could smell those berries. I could smell those huckleberries. Yeah, too. Yeah, well now we can um, uh, get to grilling the salmon. And this salmon is, uh, you thank you, you got for us fresh Idaho wild sockeye salmon. Mm -hmm. So we can... Oh my gosh, where is the salmon? It was just here. Oh, that guy's out on the patio. Oh my god, he's back. What are you doing with our salmon? Who are you? I'm cooking the salmon. Look at this. Who gave you that authority? The gall. The salmon guys. Looks pretty good though. Does uh, look good? Yeah, mm. <laughs> it looks delicious. Do you live around here? Yes, I'm Huckleberry Ken. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. So I guess we have an extra person on Four chow time. Yep. Wow. That's good though. Woo -hoo. Yeah. There's plenty for everybody. Oh, you're eating with us now too? Yeah, I thought I would. So anyway, Huck, what is your secret for grilling this fresh sockeye salmon? Don't make it too complicated. Salmon is beautiful, and if you pick out a nice piece of fish, it really takes care of itself. A little butter on the uh, on the foil, yeah, and then uh, a little salt and pepper, and you're home free. The fish is perfect. Yeah, especially because we have the huckleberry sauce coming. That's right. Uh, That's right. Okay, now we're going to finish this off. So I'm going to turn the heat off. I'm going to add just a couple tablespoons of butter to melt in there. That always makes it so smooth and delicious. Rich. Looks delicious. So we'll just melt it in that hot sauce. And then another thing I like to add is a little bit of cream. Mm -hmm. You can never go wrong with just a couple tablespoons is okay. all you need. Okay. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, looks like ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Well, the salmon looks beautiful, doesn't it? It does. I think Huck did a great job. Yeah, I didn't like him very much at first, but he's, he's useful. He's growing on me. <laughs> and then, it's always nice on a bed of rice, so there's the beautiful salmon. Mm -hmm. And here comes the huckleberry sauce. So you don't want a real thick sauce for fish. Because fish is a little lighter. Interesting. Wow. Oh boy, does that smell good. Ooh. And you know what else? If you have any leftover huckleberry sauce, you can put this on ice cream if you want. Sounds delicious. Yeah, or you could make some sort of a special milkshake with it. Mm. Add a little bit more. You are so maybe, good at this. Ooh. Maybe put a little put a little on the rice too. Mm-hmm. All right. So should we ask Huck if he wants to sit down and have a bite with us? Why not? Okay. Oh, please, please! <laughs> I am in love with this huckleberry sauce. It's one of the most delicious flavors I've ever tasted, and it's so amazing how you blended all of those flavors, and it came out absolutely delicious. I think the salt and pepper shake on the salmon was the secret.